there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? What's, what's the deal, yo? You heard that intro, so you should know who I am. But for those of you who have the attention span of two seconds... I'm Mr. Warmack, and as you can see, I'm definitely in the fucking building. Today we're going to international on your asses. I know a lot of you guys, oh, my head hurts. He's talking about international things. That's your problem. You can't, you can only deal with your little area, your little realm. I can deal with a lot of different stuff. I'm going to talk to you about Japan and how our pacifism is going to have Japan, Japan's about to blow shit up over there. Now, there's a, there's a sharp turn to the right in Japan from the easygoing, loving, hey, everybody's our friend and bowing and all this, you know, to Japan is declaring war on pacifism and they're declaring war on Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution, which states that they cannot have a build an army for offensive purposes if you look it up. I'm a little bit of a history buff, so I know that. You know, and all this is under the Obama administration's approval. You know, it's it's uh, real or that they Japan is talking about all this because whether it's threats real or not coming from China or North Korea, Japan and the Prime Minister Prime Minister Abe wants the rights to have a nationalistic nation. That's the redundant. He wants to. He wants. To, he wants to write to defend himself. And he wants to write if he feels threatened to launch an opposition attack. But Article Nine stated that Japan couldn't do it. That's in the Constitution. We helped draft the Constitution along with a traitor that we put as leader in Japan. It's it's long story. I'm not going to bore you with it. You guys are already going to understand about Japan anyway. But uh, they're spending for they, they, they're allowed to spend for quote unquote defense. But the Japanese gonna be more offensive. Like I said, you got they got the they're banging over that island over in China right now. I mean, they're banging over an island over an island with China. You got North Korea. I don't know what the fuck this little dude's doing. He's entertaining the Harlem Globetrotters one minute. He's killing his uncle the next minute. Feeding to the dead dogs is the third minute. And and, and the, I hate to say the people are responding kind of well to this policy. Now they don't they. At the same time, though, when you, when you swing that far right, Japan's also is trying to repress a lot of their freedoms as far as freedom of speech, and uh, they're not allowed to find out who's tapping into their businesses or tapping their phones and shit like that. But uh, as far as uh, you know, military plans, the U.S. is like the U.S. isn't saying anything because look, think about it this way: it, we're stretched out as it is. Say China wants to fucking act up and shit gotta hit the fan. At least Japan would be like, look man, you ain't fucking coming over here. And it'd be a nice ally to have. And and on a side note, Japan didn't lose the war. They just lost the battle, if you know what I mean. Peace. There. That's it. That's him. <laughs>